I've been here uh, a month, I've probably made a hundred friends. Seriously? Oh yeah, just walking around, meeting people constantly. I was living over on Main Street. I've been there about 15 years. And the place had changed hands twice since I lived there. And of course, each time you get a new owner, they raise the rent. For what I was getting from Social Security, it just uh, wasn't enough. I get my check, I pay my rent, I pay my phone, I pay my, my electric. There's nothing left. If it wouldn't have been for food stamps, I would have starved. I started going down there to the food bank once in a while. Being on Social Security, you get all kinds of paperwork from the government. They want you to fill it out. I can't write. So I got hooked up with Linda. And whenever I had stuff to be filled out, Linda would fill it out. I'd tell her, I need this or I need that. And she'd say, oh, I know somebody. Oh, I know somebody. Check with this person. That she knows everybody. She said, uh, I know a number of different places that we can get you into and your rent will only be a third of what you're paying now. I said, a third? <laughs> she, she said, yeah. So we put a bunch of applications together. We sent them out and it took like four years before I finally got in here. And it all worked out. Perfect timing. I love it. I've met so many nice people. There's a rec room down there with pool tables and huge TV with 40, 100 channels. And if you go next door into the dining room, uh, along one wall, there's all kinds of loaves of bread and pies and cakes and everything you can think of. You can go in the fridge. And it's very convenient, as you can see. All these across the street. There's a pizza place over there. All the fast food places are over there. There's a barber shop over there. A dollar store over there. So I joined the Navy and I told them, I want to be on an aircraft carrier. So the first place they sent me was Naval Air Station, Patuxent River, Maryland. And then I got transferred to an aircraft carrier out of San Francisco. I'll tell you what, San Francisco in the 60s was crazy. Yeah, I just had a lot of fun. And then 1967, uh, we went to Vietnam. Wherever I went while I was in the Navy, I put a band together. And we'd go out, we'd play the local bars, and you know, make a little extra money and have a hell of a lot of fun. What did you play? I was a lead singer. Yeah, I'm gonna try with a little help from my friend. And I got to like it so much that after I got out of the Navy, I said, this is what I wanna do for the rest of my life. So I spent <laughs> the next 15 years doing it until I got completely burnt out being on the road a lot. Every time I need something, say, Linda, I need this. And she'll go, oh, I know a guy. Oh, I know a guy. She knows so, so many people, it's incredible. She can get you anything you need because she knows people and she's been doing it for so long. You know, because when you go into, into senior citizenship, you need a lot of help. And there's got to be somebody there to steer you to these places where you can get help. Please help out as much as you can. I know we don't all have a lot of money, but if you got anything you can spare, Keystone needs it. Keystone takes care of so many people uh, like me. My story may sound unique, but it's really not. There's a lot of senior citizens out there that need help and don't know where to go. And if you help Keystone, Keystone will help us. It's just been a godsend in my life. 
Thank you, Keystone. You saved my life. That isn't the way I usually say it, but for this, I'll keep it clean. <laughs>